What's good everybody? Jeff here. The support on the last video was heartwarming and I want to say thank you. So, thank you. It also gave me the idea for this video. Like in the last one, I explained the struggles of playing matchmaking and how sometimes it has a really negative impact on your day. So I wonder, my account is supposed to be somewhat trusted and I assume I have the best conditions available to play? And even then, it's a nightmare. So how is it like for new players? Like someone who vaguely heard of CS and decided to try. In case you don't know, CS is now free to play. And if you want to play in prime matchmaking, which is supposed to be more trusted, then you have to pay, but you're still able to play matchmaking for free, only that it has to be non prime So I've created a new account under the lovely name of Lord Baguette, picked a picture from which you can almost feel the crunchiness. Nice. But before we get into it, here's a shout out to this video's sponsor, NordVPN. Now I'm pretty sure you all know what a VPN is because this is 2019, but in case, a VPN is mostly used for privacy reasons. It stands in between you and the website or server that you visit and can be very useful if you want to mask your IP and avoid getting DDoSed or even for the French people with the X-Ray update on CSGO. With NordVPN, it's pretty simple. Use the code HUNGUNGANGE and make sure to spell it right, and with this code you get 70% off, which lowers the price to a little bit more than 3 euros per month. And then it's that easy. You wanna be German? Boom, you are German. Oh, you don't like schnitzel anymore. All right, no problem, click here, and now you are Spanish. And just like that, you're como esta la casa, señorita. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really good at Spanish. I use it for video streaming platforms. You guys know that I live in Malta now and some series are only available from the French IP, so I can't watch them anymore, unless I click here. So remember to use my code to get 70% off and you'll find the link down below in the description with more info about this if you're interested. This game mode unlocks when you reach private rank two. Well, okay. <laughs> so, the first thing I'm actually seeing from CSGO is a player called the Un... Weird? Let's talk in Russian, okay. I'm confused. That guy just got so many headshots in a row. Seems to be a new account as well. Interesting. I find it weird. Oh my god. I don't understand your language. <laughs> well, I guess you understand mine. Fantastic. I'm gonna go mid, I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna spectate him. He is in the exact same spot. Oh my god. What what am I watching? Блин, сзади, сзади, сзади. Да, у них зомби, у нас есть яма, яма, яма. Это яма. Я вылетаю, он вообще у меня первый убивал. Да, у него яма. I can't take it anymore. Своё первое место. This is so much better. Okay, so you realize that this is literally the very first game that I am playing on this account. This is my first Counter-Strike experience, and this is what I'm getting. What the actual fuck? Wait, that dude is looking at the ground as well. I have expected those two here. Oh, okay. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck? Welcome to Counter-Strike. This will be your first experience. And I'm not kidding, it will be. In order to play matchmaking or even deathmatch, you have to be level 2. And the only option for you to reach that level is to play in this game mode. <laughs> this is insane. It's been 5 rounds, not even 10 minutes, and I've already encountered 2 spin bots and I've been insulted by Russian kids. I don't feel so welcome here. 
We have that dude here. Spin budding in city spawn. We have that dude here. Spin budding in T spawn. Yeah, I don't really want to cross, really. The thing is, you can't even leave, because if you do so, you won't get any XP at the end of the match. So in the end, you are forced to play here, and you are forced to play uh, in those conditions. It is okay, really then. bad. So we have this dude. Hey, welcome to Counter-Strike. I know it's a new game for you, but you're gonna love it. Oh yeah, I love it too. Okay, so how much XP did I win? Fuck. Oh no, I have to go for that two times? Oh my god. This is terrible. I, I can't even go in deathmatch. I can't go anywhere at all. I have to go playing those maps. Okay, uh, I guess this two is enough for me. Eh? I'm, I'm gonna stick to the defusal groups. In the beginning, it wasn't that bad. If you manage to mute the Russian kids and the airplane microphones, you can still play a few rounds. But the thing is, this is not Counter Strike. The game and the maps were designed for a 5v5 mode, so why would it turn into some kind of 8v8 all of a sudden? I still don't understand the purpose of this mode. I'd rather see a 5v5 unranked that teaches you about the economy and the real mechanics of CSGO, because this is just weird. And then, it happened again. Oh, okay. Let's keep on. So wait. Excuse me. Going into the next one, I knew exactly what was gonna happen. They even promote their shitty spin bot in the chat. Like, by, by the way, oh about that no. chat, like, why is it even here, Valve? Has it ever been used for a good reason? I really want to see that old chat gone. You can still talk to your teammates, but that chat is useless, let's be honest. Why? That explains. Wait. Oh my god. Wait, the both of them. Actually, the both of them. What the fuck? This is this is beyond my understanding. In this single match on Mirage, I have seen six spin bots and one wall hack. And those are the ones I have seen myself. Now, quick math, 7 out of 16. We are almost at 50% of the players on the server with me with an actual spin bot. Do you understand how alarming this is? I'm done. Please tell me I have my rank 2. Yes. <laughs> and actually I dropped a sealed graffiti with a happy face. Yes. Yes, because that, that is totally my state of mind. So look, if you wonder why this is so bad, let me explain, because I'm not being dramatic in any case. We are talking about your first experience with the game. This footage is unedited, and this is the first time that I ever attempted to record this. Out of four casual games, all of them had more than three cheaters in the best scenario. And the most I have seen is seven in a single match. Now, if you're a new player and you've never heard of Counter-Strike, you are going to be forced to go through this hell, there's no way out, and on top of it, you are playing on a game mode, which is in no way Counter-Strike and doesn't prepare you for what competitive is going to be anyway. I mean, in other games, and especially free-to-play, they focus on the first impressions. It's very important if you intend to convert and retain the players. You'll notice that when playing a free-to-play game, during the first hours of the game, you're going to rank up fast, you're gonna earn a lot of currency, but as soon as you play a bit more and only then does it start to slow down and the microtransactions start to show and the currency isn't flowing anymore, right? But here in CS, literally on the first second that you played the game, like even in the fucking loading screen, you're going to have a ridiculous environment. Who in its right state of mind would, after this shit experience, decide to play more? I'm pretty sure this has scared away a lot of players and it's really bad. But look, I might have lost all my brain cells, at least I made it through. 
So now we can carry on and play matchmaking. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, after what I've seen, I really don't want to. So that will be it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to not miss the next adventures of Lord Baguette in matchmaking. Drop a like if you somewhat enjoyed the video to support me and I will see you guys in the next one.